Hey guys, this is Mike from Eldorado Guitars and I am coming at you today with the Mesa Boogie Mark 7. So I just wanna do a very quick demo of this. I'm gonna do two guitars. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I really feel like the Mark 7 stands out as, a, as an amp that sounds really good with single coil equipped guitars. We're gonna do two strats here. I've got this one right here with um, Fender Custom Shop um, Dual Mag in it. And then I've got um, another Custom Shop guitar down there with P90s in it that will check out too and I just wanted to show you how good this amp can really sound with single coil pickups um, I want to thank my friend Taylor before we go on I want to thank my friend Taylor for lending me this um, thank you so much Taylor he's been nice enough to let me have this for uh, about one to two months while he's moving um, you know easy to pawn your amps off for your friends for, on your friends for a month or two right so I really appreciate um, the opportunity to, to have this and I've got this set up pretty typically I've got a clean I've got a crunch and I've got a, like a super crunch like a high gain um, the three modes that I'm on are clean crunch and 2c um, here and the reason why I wanted to do this um, with single coils you're probably like you know Mike uh, Mesa Boogie is known for high gain tones like what's the story the Mark 7 to me is not as high gain as some of the other um, Mark series amps that I've played that's not to say that it doesn't have a lot of gain but compared to like my 83 um, 2c plus DRGX up there it's not nearly as vicious right it's it's a little bit more of like a smoothed out kind of amp um, it's a little I don't know if I want to say more compressed but it's just like it's a little bit more um, smooth right it's a little smoother um, that's not to say that it can't get you know in your face or anything but like the the two the two original 2c pluses will really take your head off they're very vicious very aggressive amps um, and it's almost like hard to dial that out you know they're just always a very in your face kind of amp and this amp is a little bit more laid back um, but in a, in a good way and I feel like um, with single coils it really shines I mean of course it sounds good with humbuckers it's a Mesa boogie right but with single coils this one notably sounds better to me than other mark series amps i've played and for the record i've played my mark 2c plus obviously drgx um, i've had a um, 2c i'm sorry a jp2c which i really want to buy another jp2c i like that amp a lot and um, i had a mark 535 and um, the newer marks to me the mark 5 and this one are both a little bit smoother and a little bit more produced um, they're not more compressed necessarily i would say the jp2c was a lot more compressed um, but this amp um, just i think shines like the newer marks really shine with with single coil pickups so i wanted to show you a little bit of that today so right now let's Let's start out with this um, this strat right here, which, like I said, has the Fender Dual Mag pickups in it um, from the custom shop. That just means that it's Alnico 5 on the bottom strings to keep them sounding really sharp, and then Alnico 2 on the top strings to keep them sounding really smooth. It produces a much more balanced um, sounding strat. So let's check that out together. I've got um, I'm on channel one right now, which is the clean channel and I've got the gain up pretty aggressive. It's up about three quarters. And one of the things I notice is that this channel really doesn't distort. It reminds me a lot of the JP2C's clean channel where they explicitly state in the manual that um, the clean channel will not distort, right? They specifically designed it not to distort. Even if you jack the master, even if you jack the gain, right? It's not really supposed to clip. And I kind of feel the same way about this channel. Um, so let's check it out together. I'm not using the graphic EQ on this first channel. Um, I've just got it set up without the graphic EQ. I've got the treble up a little over half, mid and bass at half, and the presence a little past half. And you just get a beautiful clean sound. Check it out, it sounds great. Um, I'm gonna start actually on the number four position here and uh, let's check it out, it sounds awesome. Sounds great, right? I mean, sounds awesome. If you move it to a full single coil, like on the neck, you're just gonna get this huge, wide, clean sound that sounds awesome. I don't have any pedals running in this right now. I'm going straight into the amp, but I bet if you put some chorus and stuff in front of this, it would sound really awesome. Like, check it out.
Sounds really good, right? I mean, it's really um, like almost like a piano or something, right? It, it's beautiful. Um, and even if you go all the way to the bridge position like this, it's still not going to break up. I mean, check this out. I'll slap it kind of aggressively on the bridge position here, and you'll see it's not really going to distort. Check it out. It's got a lot of headroom. Even if I turn the gain all the way up, check it out, I'll turn the gain all the way up, right? It's still not gonna distort. It's pretty cool on the bridge pickup. <laughs> So it's, it's, it's a channel with a lot of headroom, um, and it just sounds beautiful with the Strat, right? I, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It just sounds great. You put a little bit of, um, you know, a little trim on this. I think the trim on this is pretty decked, but let me try it real quick. I'm going to put it on the number two position so you can hear it. Check it out. little bit I got away with there. <laughs> I, I have this thing set down pretty aggressively. I'm not a big trim guy, but it sounds beautiful, right? That the big waves, right? It sounds awesome. So the clean channel is very, very, very cool. Um, one thing I will say though, since it is such a high headroom clean channel, it doesn't really take overdrives super well. Um, it takes distortion pedals better. So like example, putting a tube screamer set with the level all the way up and the OD all the way down on this channel isn't really gonna result in all that much. It's not really gonna sound that great. But if you were to put like um, a BEOD or something in front of it, it would sound awesome, right? Because like the Freeman BEOD pedal is intended to be run into a clean amp with a lot of headroom, right? So if you've got a pedal like that, it's gonna sound really awesome. So I would say channel one, distortion pedals, yes. Overdrive pedals, kind of like meh. Right. So um, not a shocker, but, you know, just something to think about. Um, moving on to channel two, let's flick it over to channel two. So now we are going to go to the EQ. We're going to use the graphic EQ uh, that I've got set up over here. And um, I currently have channel two set up in the crunch mode. There's three modes on channel two, fat, crunch and um, mark seven. Fat and Crunch on this channel sounds very similar to this channel. They're not completely identical, but they do sound very, very, very similar, like 95%, right, the same. Um, I've got this one set on Crunch. Um, the Mark 7 mode, I'll be honest, I don't find it that useful. Um, I'm sorry to say, uh, it's, it's got a cool sound, it's cool, and I could see myself using it for like a solo or an overdub or you know, some kind of like part, you know, in a song, but I don't think it's gonna be like my main sound. They claim it's somewhere between a rectifier and a mark, and that's, you know, I don't know, seems, you know, kind of ac you know, accurate to me, but I just don't particularly love it. It's hard to dial in, and in my opinion, it's hard to dial in uh, a really high gain tone on channel two. Sorry, I've got my headstock in the way. It's really hard to, to dial in a high gain tone on channel two with the Mark 7 mode, and then channel three with the Mark like C plus or four mode. They just end up like the, the EQ, um, the graphic EQ, like doesn't work the same way. I, I find it's kind of hard to dial in, so I prefer to leave this one on crunch or fat, um, and then set, set this one to be a higher gain sound, since you still have to use the, the same graphic EQ, and I'll get to that in a minute at the end. But let's go ahead and check it out really fast. I've got the gain on this channel dimed, um, because you know these are really low output pickups, like 5.8K or something, right? Like very low. Um, I've got the treble and mids at noon. I've got the bass um, one notch shy of noon, and I've got the master and presence um, up just over noon. And um, you're gonna hear it's a really cool sound. I'm gonna do on the neck pickup first, and then I'll bounce around to some other positions. Um, let's go ahead and check it out. It sounds awesome. <laughs>
really good. Maybe the only criticism I have is that the note definition isn't awesome. You know, like if you play a really big loud chord, like on the bridge pickup, like when I was doing that D chord there, and then I was trying to like hit like the high strings, it kind of mushed together a little. Like, let me see if I can get it to replicate. Hear what I'm saying? Like the, the bass notes kind of uh, muffle out some of the highs. So like the clarity is like kind of medium, but I think it's still a cool sound, right? Um, it sounds really, really good. And um, it's really good for a lot of um, mid gain kind of work. You know, you heard that John Mayer -y sound on the four position that frankly sounds killer, right? So it sounds very cool. It's a great channel. Um, moving on to channel three, I've got this set up on the 2C plus mode. Now, one thing I'll tell you is like, and this is just the truth, and I know you're probably like, Mike, you've got all this gear in here, like, you know, you're a gear snob, and I guess I am, right? I don't know. But what I'm gonna tell you is this does not sound like a real 2C plus, right? It sounds kind of like a 2C plus, right? Um, you know, but nothing sounds like a, a real 2C plus, right? I mean, I've got that 83 um, DRGX up there, it's just such a vicious amp. I mean, it's so vicious. It's just in your face the entire time. And both the JP2C and the Mark II mode on this one, um, and even the Mark um, II mode on the Mark V, they sound like, um, like maybe a more modern version of a 2C+, right? Much smoother, um, not as in your face, not quite as aggressive as present right? Um, but it's still a very cool sound. So let's check it out. Um, I'm going to start out on the bridge pickup here. If there's a little bit of buzz, I apologize. These are real um, single coils. So um, there may be a little bit of 60 cycle hum. Like I said, I'm, I'm on the 2C plus channel. I've got the um, gain at uh, maybe about like two o'clock. I've got the treble at noon, the mid up at two o'clock, the bass down at 10 o'clock, the presence just past noon. So um, let's check it out. Really cool, like, um, reminds me a lot of like 90s kind of sounds here, like 90s strat tones. Check it out, it's very cool. <laughs> It sounds great. I mean, I actually controversially think maybe the neck pickup sounds better than the bridge pickup for some of those songs. Um, it sounds really, really cool, right? Um, so 
really, really, really great um, channel. I, I dig it so much. And I think with single coils, it sounds great. Um, I want to switch to one more guitar. We're going to keep the settings here exactly the same. I'm going to go back to channel one and I'm going to grab my P90 Strat and show you what P90 sound like through this bad boy for a bigger, meatier single coil experience. Um, so stand by, come right back and I'll see you in a moment with P90s. Hey guys, it's Mike from Auto Auto Guitars again and I am back with my P90 equipped Strat. Um, this is a Fender Custom Shop Strat made of mahogany, actually, that I had made to measure. Um, really super cool blue sparkle finish on this one. Um, the neck on this one's a little bit different. The other one was a 65C, this one's a 59. And um, this one is a hardtail. Uh, the other one was a um, trim. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to start again on channel one. I've left all the settings on the amp exactly the same so that you can hear it. And I kind of feel like the P90 experience is just sort of like a beefed up single coil right and so I think it sounds really 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 killer through this amp um, probably what I would do like if I was really trying to make this like a little bit more balanced like like if I just was like trying to EQ for this I'd probably lower the low slider here a little bit but I want to leave it the same because um, I want you to be able to hear the tones you know from each guitar so let's go ahead and check out the clean channel again I've got again exactly the same uh, setup so let's go ahead and check it out I'll start on the neck pickup and um, then I'll move to the bridge pickup and really slap it a bit to see if we can get it to break up. So let's start on the neck pickup. Middle position. You can hear maybe it's just barely starting to clip on some of those, right? Like you can hear just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, right? So what I would probably do if given my druthers is just turn the gain down a little, right? Because I had to juice the gain a little bit for those um, vintage style single coils. Since these are P90s, they're much hotter, right? So like, for example, here's the sound we just had. You can hear it's starting to break up a little, right? But I bet you if I turn this gain down just a tiny bit, maybe to like there, it's probably gonna be better. right all I had to do was dial the gain down now I'm gonna go to the bridge pickup real quick and I'll turn the gain back up to where I had it which was three quarters just to show you what it'll sound like on the bridge pickup if I really slap it because I did that with the other one so let's check it out It's still minimal breakup, right? It's still very, very little. Like probably if I were to just dial it back to the same place I had it just a second ago for the other ones, let's check it out. It'll probably be really clean. Just for those of you who are wondering how much gain is on the clean channel, I'll turn it all the way up. <laughs> so let's just turn it all the way up. And again, I'm still on the clean channel with the clean mode, right? So this is basically the most gain you're gonna get at least with single coils. <laughs> It 
it's a cool sound. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like those Green Day albums from like 2000, whatever that album they did where they really didn't use much distortion. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Um, I can't remember what that album is called right now. It's escaping me, but um, it kind of reminds me a bit of that. All right, moving on to channel two. Let's get to the crunch. So I'm gonna do crunch on the bridge pickup here and I'll bounce to the neck pickup a little bit. Let's just check it out. I mean, it's gonna sound awesome. P90s with crunch. I mean, hello, right? Here we go. Sounds great, right? I mean, like, it's pretty killer. I really like the extra compression that these pickups add. You could tell I was really having a lot of fun on the neck pickup there with this thing turned all the way up. I mean, it sounded awesome. <laughs> Sounds good, right? Sounds really, really good with these P90s. I'm telling you, man, single coils through this thing sound awesome, right? Sounds great. Finally, let's check out channel three. Again, this is Mark II C plus mode, so gonna be a little bit more modern um, sounding, and uh, I'm just gonna do a quick tuning check here because I was really bending pretty aggressively there. Pretty in tune. This guitar is pretty good tuning stability. So let's go ahead and check out channel three. I'll flop it over. Same settings. Let's rumble and see what we get. Let's do some 80s shit. Here we go.
sounds pretty cool, right? It's, it's pretty bitchin'. One thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna make a slight adjustment now that you've heard all the sounds with the same settings. I'm gonna make some slight adjustments on this channel just so you can care, hear kind of like how I would set it, right? So like what I would probably do is just lower this EQ slider just a little bit like I said before. I might actually up the um, upper mid slider just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna increase the treble input just a little bit. It's gonna start to oscillate because even though these are um, noise canceling, they're a bit sensitive still um, to some of the gain. I'm gonna lower the mids just a little bit because I think if the mids are up too aggressively and these have a lot of mids, it kind of gets a little congested. So let's hear what it sounds like now. <laughs> I juice the gain a little. It's a little sensitive with single coils, I think because of the way that the pickups are interacting with the amp. So I will say that it's a little sensitive. You can't really like dime the gain on it, right? But you can hear it sounds really cool, right? So my, my thing about the Mark 7 is like, I think it's a very cool amp. Um, I, I don't think it has a lot in common with the old Mesas. Um, I think there, it's, it's a very different amp from like an original 2C plus. Um, it probably has a little more in common with the JP2C. Um, so my two cents would be, I, I think with this amp, um, I'm, I think it's a cool amp. I think that channel one and channel three are really useful. Channel two, I feel like I leave in crunch like 99% of the time because I'm not crazy about Mark 7 mode and I don't feel like Mark, uh, I'm sorry, not Mark, uh, the fat mode on channel two is really that useful um, because you've got it also on this channel. So I think like 99% of the time, you're probably gonna leave this channel on cleaner fat. You're probably gonna leave this channel on crunch and then you're just kind of stuck with all the Mark modes in this one. I would have really liked it if on channel two they'd included maybe the mark two mode um, or maybe instead of the mark seven mode if they had done a mark three or maybe just a mark one right like an original mark one or something probably would have been really cool so i think they maybe missed the mark a little there because pun intended <laughs> because um all the mark modes are really on here right you've got 2b 2c and mark four all on here. The Mark IV mode sounds really killer. Um, very, very cool. And actually the Mark IIb mode sounds really good with the right guitar. Um, with, with a thinner sounding guitar, the Mark IIb sounds awesome. Very cool. Um, and then maybe one other suggestion I have for the Mark VII is I was really bummed that it only had one graphic EQ. When I saw that the JP2C had two graphic EQs, I was like, yes, thank God, right? Like. 
two graphic EQs so I can set a totally different graphic EQ for this channel or this channel or this channel or, this, or whatever, right? It gives you so much more flexibility to have two EQs on a Mark so Series amp. I'm just really disappointed that they that they did Mark uh, only one on the Mark Seven. But other than that, it's a very 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 cool amp. Um, I really like it. If you own one, try it with single coils. Or um, if you're considering getting one, take one of your single coil guitars with you and check it out. Um, I think it sounds really cool. The trick is just to set the mids higher, right? Um, because you need more mid range coming out of the pickups, right? It, maybe not on a P90, but on a, a regular Strat, right? Or a Tele. Set the mids a little more aggressively than you would with humbuckers and you're really gonna love it. So um, Mark II, I'm sorry, Mark VII, um, really, really cool amp. Um, check it out and thank you again to my friend Taylor um, for letting me loan, uh, loaning me this. Um, thank you so much, man. I've really enjoyed having this around the house and um, thanks everybody. Again, this is Mike from Eldorado Guitars. Have a good rest of your week. See you later.